Diamond Head. Can I get your autograph? Ah! What's that, Squirrel? Huh, he left. Diamond Head, power up! On the table, it may just get silly today with Cartoon Network Ben 10 transforming Ben to aliens from Playmates Toys. These are possibly amazing silly fun or just completely weird. I'm wearing a boot, so I have nothing to say. So we have three toys to look at. We have Transforming Ben to Heat Blast. We have Transforming Ben to Diamond Head. And we have Transforming Ben to Shock Rock. Looking at these in their present form, you're probably thinking, wow, those actually look pretty cool. What do they do? Well, keep watching because it only gets stranger from here. Let's keep an eye on Heat Blast first. Nice open package design gives you a chance to test one out. On the back of the box, uh, Heat Blast, how did you do that? We have a quick demonstration. Squeeze legs to transform from Ben to Heat Blast. Collect them all. Shock Rock and Diamond Head also here today. What's that story I hear about Ben 10 I hear about these days? Ben finds an alien watch, the Omnitrix, which allows him to transform into 10 different aliens. Once transformed, Ben takes on the alien's appearance and powers while always remaining a 10-year-old boy. The result, the ultimate kid superhero. Everybody got that? Well, you should have that, as it's been around for a while. And a back around to the front. Heat Blast, I almost think you're trying to hide something from us. Maybe he has some nice boots inside that lower packaging. So again, the cool thing about this packaging is we don't even have to take out of the box. You can still activate Heat Blast easily inside. Well, Heat Blast, time to see Ben. Go ahead and power down. I don't know. Are you sure about this? Yeah, we probably should see it. All right. So to see the transforming action in box, we are just going to squeeze those legs together. Yikes, my dreams filled with nightmares. And so we have found Ben kind of half transformed out of Heat Blast or maybe transforming into Heat Blast. The toy transformation though functions pretty well. It's a real clean switch over in mechanism. Let's try some more, uh, Ben. I think you're a little half and half. How about we see Heat Blast again? Okay. So flipping him back, we are now back into Heat Blast Alien. Just don't turn him around. Uh, Heat Blast, I can see Ben's arms. No, you can't. Well, that's okay, because this is just kind of one of those fun toys we see from time to time. What do you think, Trini? It's morphin' time. And flip toys have been around for a long time. Good to see some more coming out. You dropped your blade, Trini. So let's actually get Heat Blast out of package now. <laughs> no, I wasn't thinking about just doing the review in package and then returning it. I would never do that. Here we go, outside of the box, finally. Good thing. Any longer and it would have been up in flames. So true. Pretty tall standing toy, about six and a half inches in height. Pretty stocky, too. I like how we're seeing that translucent yellow plastic for the flame of fire of Heat Blast. That's always been a nice touch. Let's test that flip more now that we are not encumbered by the box. Sometimes it may bump your hand, so you kind of want to hold it up a little bit. I really like how quickly it flips back and forth, and I like how it does not just get stuck in one mode. A typical flip-up toy usually only features one side, and then you have to reset it back. In this version, it is endless flipping. As for articulation, it's going to be very limited. You can force move those arms around. On shoulders. No head rotation. Obviously, waist rotation. From the front, a pretty solid looking heat blast figure. How does he scale up to the others? Well, here's your deluxe light-up heat blast. So somewhat close to size and scale. Then for your basic assortment action figure heat blast, obviously a little smaller. I would definitely suggest collect all Ben 10 basic assortment figures before you get to the gimmicky transforming Ben to alien figures. Ah. Not nice, Ben. I guess what would be fun to suggest for these toys, they're a good younger audience take your kid to the grocery store type of toy. You could sit in the cart, or maybe at church, or possibly going down a water slide on a hot day, transforming Ben back and forth from Heat Blast to Ben. It's kind of a good fidget toy. Well Heat Blast, let's move on over to Diamond Head, see how he works compared to you. 
Here's transforming Ben to Diamond Head. For such a gimmicky toy, I really couldn't resist picking up all three. Each one of them was just so fun. They've got such a great cheese glow going to them, especially Diamond Head's face. Cheese glow. I always like the translucent plastic going on with Diamond Head. And Heat Blast, Diamond Head, and Shock Rock were pretty good choices for the flip. As in, Diamond Head and Shock Rock's look kind of hulking big body guys. And then with Heat Blast, that fluid nature of fire. Let's first give Transforming Ben to Diamond Head in box a quick flip. Same deal with the legs. Now I've noticed with my Diamond Head, it's a little catchy. I don't know if someone had flipped him around too many times in box on shelf, but sometimes he gets stuck, so sometimes you have to manually reset him. I don't know why you're laughing at yourself, Ben. For some reason, this one's a little catchy. Maybe if I do a manual torso twist. Wait a second. Hmm. I'm still a little off with this one. Let's remove from package. Maybe I can get a better look at it. Heat Blast worked so well, it's a little odd to see Diamond Head perform this way. Kinda wants to be backwards, kid. His legs are still functioning backwards. Okay, I think I'm figuring out the mechanics a little bit. If your transforming Ben to Alien is working a little funky, try a couple things. It looks like when turning the torso counterclockwise from looking down on, you can hear some solid clicks. It really takes only one or two clicks to get it back centered. And another trick is, if he's getting a little stuck, pull back outward on those legs, and he should flip back. So it's kind of about rotating, hearing that click, and you'll get a good reset. With this diamond head, you really have to crank back that leg back out to get a good transformation. Heat Blast, though, from the start, has always worked really well for me. This might be something you want to do on shelf before purchasing to see how smoothly they transform. Diamond Head, a little sticky. Quick comparison. Here's our lights and sounds, Diamond Head. It's hero time! And our basic assortment, Diamond Head. Really, for such a radical gimmick, the front-on look of these figures, pretty good. That's it. Going hero with an element of surprise. But then when you flip around again, Ben's backward, broken torso. I suppose if you have a favorite Ben 10 alien, and have a feature collection of that character, these would be very welcome to that. Which reminds me, I never really purchased the larger 12 inch figures. Those would have been fun to see. Hmm. Here's looking at transforming Ben 2 Shock Rock, a very popular alien in the series. Up front in alien form looking pretty good. There's a little bit of a stretch to these because of the mechanics. Diamond Head and Shock Rock may be feeling a little more tall than they should, maybe more slender, something like that. But they show a pretty good sculpt with okay paintwork going on. I like the mossy green showing up on his rock shoulder pads. Let's test an inbox transform, see how he works. Working pretty smooth, much like Heat Blast. Diamond Head seems to be the only one in my collection that's a little catchy. Let's remove from pack, see how he performs on table. Shock Rock out of pack, I may have saved best for last. I like the look of this one quite a bit. Maybe balanced just about right. Checking Heat Blast next to him. And Diamond Head. Yeah, Heat Blast's torso just looks a little too full. He's a much slimmer alien. And Diamond Head's stance just doesn't look right. Maybe it's just the way the legs have to stand for the transformation feature to grab onto. I seem to feel like Shock Rock looks the best out of the three. What do you think? And let's do another quick transformation. Uh-oh, I think he's backwards. Oh, there we go. Sometimes they kind of flip backwards, it's a one-time thing, and then the other few times it transforms just right. So here we have Ben poking himself out of halfway shock rock. Such a bizarre quick transformation. But feels like a very solid, heavy toy. I don't think it will break too easily. I think it's gonna hold up pretty well to all that transforming. And that might have been one of the goals Playmates Toys was going for. Something really strong, so you could do quick flip transforming while bungee jumping, perhaps. I don't believe I have a lights and sound shock rock to compare, but we do have a basic assortment shock rock figure to look at. So now in comparing the two, yeah, this shock rock's body is a little bit weird too. 
It's almost like his legs are actually proportioned right, whereas in basic figure assortment, such a tiny waist. But I think the tiny waist is probably more accurate. Still though, an amusing transforming Ben to Shock Rock toy. So there again, your collection of three Heat Blast, Diamond Head, and Shock Rock. What a bizarre Ben 10 collection of rebooted toys. Looks like they didn't have any boots in their packaging after all. Hmm, too bad. Ben 10 Transforming Ben 2 Alien Toys arrive on store shelves February 2019. They run approximately $12.97 a piece, so make sure you are a big Ben 10 fan if you're picking these up. They're kind of a novelty fidget-like flip back and forth toy. Pick your favorite character, go to the dinner table, and smash out some mashed potatoes. That's what I have to say about that. When squirrels flip, it usually looks very funny. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.